Khalif Allison and here are the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. In his closing speech to Cuba this week, President Obama urged the communist nation to embrace democracy and advance the rights of women and gay people. The visit was the first by a sitting US president in 88 years. A lesbian and her son are awaiting deportation to Namibia after their violent arrest in Scotland on Monday. Beverly Kanji suffered a broken ankle at the hands of police who were also accused of brutality at a protest over her deportation yesterday. Filipino senatorial candidate Edu Manzano has expressed his support for gay rights. Rival candidate Manny Pacquiao lost a lot of support earlier this year after making anti-gay comments. Fans in the US are incensed after the fourth gay character this year was killed off on TV this week. Using the hashtag LGBTFansDeserveBetter, they highlighted the disproportionate amount of tragic endings for LGBT characters on TV. And finally, Australian broadcaster SBS has announced plans to develop the Eurovision Song Contest format for the Asia-Pacific region. Eurovision Asia is scheduled to premiere in 2017, with Australia hosting the inaugural event. Well, that's all from us at Pink City for now. Join us again tomorrow for the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories on our Facebook and Twitter pages by searching for Pink 60 News.